This is a 1 25th scale time machine made by Polar Lights, and today I'm going to try and put it together. Welcome to Not a Tech Show. Alright, so if you've been on my channel before, you know that I normally don't put together models. But today I wanted to try something that I haven't really done, and that is to put together a small model. Now I have not done this very often in my life, so forgive me if I break anything or do anything wrong. Um, I'm also not going to paint this model. Um, that would be a terrible idea. But we're going to put it together and see how easy it is. Apparently this is skill level one, so we shouldn't run into too many issues. Oh, that looks nice. First things first, as always, let's remove the packaging. Okay, so the first step is having us put together the dashboard here. I'm going to shave off a little bit of the plastic pieces that, uh, that uh, come off in the packaging with my knife. We'll install the steering column here until it snaps into place. And the little clock timer on the top of the dashboard also snaps into place. Also note that according to the packaging, it doesn't require any glue to put any of this together. Um, I'll decide that after we're done, but we'll give it a go. Next, we're going to install the seats into the interior. Next is a small detail piece near the back of the interior that goes over here on the passenger back side here. Next step will have us install the flux capacitor and also a ver another tiny detail piece in the rear of the interior. That detail piece goes on top of the other small one we just installed earlier, snaps into place. And the flux capacitor, of course, goes right behind the cockpit. We're taking the dashboard assembly and then installing it into the interior with the center console going in first and then the back snapping into that little hole right here. Now it is asking for the door panels to be installed. Just goes down here like so into these little slots and snaps into place on both sides. Now that the interior is complete, we can snap it onto the frame here. There's some dowels that line up on the center. It should snap right into place. Next, we'll start putting together the details on the body on the interior, starting with the windshield and also the detail pieces that go inside on the roof of the vehicle. Now that both of those assemblies are complete, we can now install the body onto the chassis and the interior. This part is a little tricky because there's a lot happening at once, but essentially you need to split open the body a little bit so that the chassis fits inside and then get it into the slots in the front and the back. Uh, you might want to be careful if you haven't used any glue that some of the interior pieces might come loose and just work it into place. Then I'm putting some more detail pieces on the body exterior, like the headlights, and then also some of the uh, time circuit wires that go on to the front of the vehicle. 
just some small details. They should snap into place. If they don't snap into place, I found that uh, using a knife to shave off a little bit of the excess plastic really helps out in getting it in worked into place. Sometimes there's a little bit extra plastic that prevents you from, from doing that. Before these wires go onto the front of the vehicle, I found that it was easier to put on these detail pieces first before clipping it onto the car. Now for the tail lights and the detail pieces on the rear exterior. Same like the headlights, they just snap into place here. Then this uh, undercarriage piece that's another detail piece that will connect the other time circuit wires on the exterior. That just snaps there. Now for uh, the time circuits on the roof of the vehicle. They will snap easily right there. And this piece I will connect the lower piece and the upper piece together on both sides. Snapping into the body in two points here and then at, at where it meets up there at the top. Now it is asking to put together the exhaust ports that will go onto the back of the vehicle. They've got some fins here that snap into place on the port before you install it on the, on the body. Now you can take these exhaust ports and put it onto the vehicle. It's asking that this hole go onto the outside of it so you know that so they are directional. So the hole's facing the outside because we're going to connect, connect something there. Then we'll snap both of these into place. Here's a little tube here that's going to connect to the exhaust port and then up at the bulkhead where the flex capacitor is. We'll snap it into place there. And there's also one on the other side. Then it's time for the Mr. Fusion piece. Snaps right there in the middle. And then some more detail pieces that go on top of that. There's a little tube that goes from Mr. Fusion to the bulkhead. And then this little tube that goes across over that one. We'll set that aside and start putting together our wheel and tires. Now there are front and back wheels. Note the front wheels are skinnier, back wheels are fatter. So are the rims. We'll stick the axle into one side and then slide the axle through the holes where they go. Trying to be careful not to uh, break any of the plastic there as you squeeze together. And there you have it. And we made it. We successfully put together the DeLorean time machine. Thank you for watching, and if you made it this far, please hit subscribe and like this video. It really helps me out. Uh, I assemble things every every week and show you how to do it. Today was a special episode. Uh, I don't do this very often, but if you'd like to see more, let me know. I'd love to give it a try.